when I got the assignment to the mission, I remember President Hinckley, Elder Hinckley, coming to speak to us, and he said, you're not much to look at, but you're the best the Lord has. I don't know. <laughs> the Argentina North mission was about half the country, but I was sent uh, right away to the smallest province in the country. Elder Scott arrived in the mission after I'd been there about seven months. He was the new mission president. But it was, uh, it was interesting, our first meeting. We sat on a little uh, porch uh, in the front of the building in a couple of, uh, <laughs> I, I don't think they were rocking chairs, but it was like sitting on the porch. I look back on that and I think, who would have ever guessed, certainly not me, that there were two future apostles. <laughs> sitting down together, meeting for the first time, one the president, one the missionary, and the beginning of a, a, a lifetime, almost, of association, wonderful association and friendship. When I came into the Quorum of the Twelve in 2008, we had a, a wonderful relationship there. I sometimes uh, half-jokingly half wonder what he thought. <laughs> <laughs> because mission presidents know all the weaknesses and the faults and failings of their missionaries, but missionaries don't know any of their present presence are perfect. My experience in the mission and in many other settings since have strengthened my faith in Christ, my faith in God, uh, basically being able to see what's, what they're doing, some of what they're doing, um, and recognize it as their hand in my life and, and in much broader uh, activity. <laughs>